Hello everybody, and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, this is a very short video. I hope people will download it and add subtitle. And this is why actually I'm making it very short so you can add your own language to it. And we will make it easy for you to download and to share and to add subtitle. Translation take a lot of work and I appreciate those who are doing this. Today in front of us we have uh, another uh, uh, fraud and lies and we are here to expose them. This website or this page is called the There Is No Clash. And here they bring you a blonde lady and she speaks fluent English. And they are trying to prove to you that Islam is full and book of science. And in front of us, they brought of us a, 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 a verse from the Quran. And they quote for you tons of reference about doctor, etc., scientist, etc., to make it look like logical and to make it as much as they can scientific. And then in the middle of this old report, which is like for 15 minutes almost, or sorry, five minutes about science and scientist discovery, suddenly they insert a verse from the Quran and say the Quran says that when Allah, he sent rain and the Quran predict something called earthquake or relationship between earthquake and the rain. When the fact the Quran is speaking about something totally different. And I find it really embarrassing uh, that uh, the Muslim themselves, they are not standing for the lies of those people. Why somebody, he believe in God, he is willing to lie and fabricate about his religion and about what he believe. You know, always, always when we speak about God, we assume that we are speaking to people who have a religion and th those people, they are, uh, you know, they will be uh, decent, you know, not somebody uh, willing to fabricate and to lie. In chapter 41, the verse this lady she is speaking about and I don't think this verse this lady she is making those videos I mean she is just a host and she is getting paid uh, she claimed that this verse is speaking about uh, earthquake but the fact as you see the verse is speaking about that Allah he sent down rain and the ground open and vegetation come I mean as simple as you see suddenly this is about earthquake and the relationship between rain and earthquake and when rain come i mean everybody knows you know three centuries and centuries and centuries if there is a lot of rain um, you know land slide will happen but this is not even speaking about that it's very simple allah is saying this is how he gave life to the ground how he give life supposedly he send rain and the rain bring vegetations bring uh, 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 vegetables grass etc and this is how they are i mean i mean there is no dignity and there is no uh, honesty not even for a second why the quran is a book teaching us all kind of a crazy stuff Yet, we will see many people from those who they are calling themselves Muhammadan, they are willing to fabricate the meaning and change everything about their book just to make it fit with something called science. And as you see, here it is saying clearly, we showed you from the Islamic uh, uh, translation and we are showing you from the Islamic interpretation and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. It's about when the rain come, everything grow and vegetation come from the ground and the ground open you know, there is like there is a movement in the ground. It was dead. This is what the verse is saying. So it's a shame. And it says clearly, this is how Allah, he bring life to the dead. So the ground was dead. And this is how the ground became alive. So while the Quran is speaking about something, the Muslim, they try to make it look like something else. And as you see, this is all Islamic cleric. And Islamic scholars agree that this is about how God he bring life to what is dead the land is dead and now rain come and flowers and grass and things come and this is Tafsir Ibn Kathir which is a big big scholar for the Muhammadan so why we lie in order to make this religion look good what is the what is the reason the reason is always that you don't speak Arabic and I'm following a religion or a cult which is allowing me to lie so because I'm allowed to lie because in Islam when a, when a Muhammadan he lied to you and the purpose of this lying is to protect Islam and to make you join Islam that's mean it's a good lie this is their logic and this is their philosophy so while while we have a book it's called the Quran and this book is saying that there is a mountain surrounding the earth from every direction and this mountain is called Khaf 
and the sky is taking its color from this mountain why the Quran is saying that the thunder is an angel chapter 13 verse number 13 while the Quran is saying that the God of Islam do not know how the hail is made so he sent down from from heaven mountain wherein there is hail he says he sent down hail from mountains in heaven and you will see the Muslim translation they are doing their best to change the translation to make it look like oh he did not say he sent hail from mountains in heaven no it does say that and this is the interpretation by your scholars and the Arabic is so clear even though when they try to fabricate the translation look at this look at this disaster chapter 24 verse number 43 it says and he sent down from the sky hail and then but between two bracket like mountains where is the like and where is it says it clearly here we go where is like and the like and the likeness so they fabricate in order to fix it and look here the translator he wanted to cover his uh, <coughs> from being uh, <coughs> so he says or there are there are in heavens mountains of hail from where he will send down and look he put what it is what it is the correct one between bracket this is the correct one there's no or so how does god want to teach us about earthquake this god who is teaching us and he taught his a prophet that a human being he stay as of in the form of a semen for 42 nights inside his mother billy is that the same God you are talking about that he have miracle and science 42 nights the messenger of Allah saying when 42 night pass after the semen gets into the womb hmm? <laughs> Allah sent his angels and give it in shape <laughs> this is the science of Allah so I wanted to share this short video with you. I hope you enjoy the science of Allah. Don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. And always Allah knows best. And for sure, Islam is a very, very, very scientific religion. Don't worry about the flying carpet of Muhammad or the birds who they are talking, looking for women have no hair in their legs or the guy who is, uh, uh, he die standing in the stick and nobody noticed that he is dead. Uh, until uh, the termite ate his steak <laughs> or don't worry about the prophet going to the top of the sky or the heaven in the top of a flying mule don't worry about this the quran is the book of science if you don't believe me read my books and you will learn thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and until i see you soon again christ is lord and we get them busted take care